guys, welcome back. This is Anthony Tejada, your local Orlando realtor, and I'm here with... Irene Calderon with the Home Agent Group, the Spanish channel. Which is Casas en Venta in Orlando. Sí. And then we have... Pam. Pam and Hopper <laughs> <laughs> with the Home Agent Group. And you know me, Anthony Tejada, your local Orlando realtor. Today we have another market update. We promise we'll be doing some every month. So we have a little bit of details to give you. Pam and Irene have done their research. And I'm so going to give what? say what? You, <laughs> and we're going to give you an insight at the end of this video. So we'll start with Irene. Oh, me. Yeah, okay. you. <laughs> oh, that's me. Oh. oh okay. So um, I'm going to be doing the Apopka area of which is northwest of Orlando. Yes. Yeah, northwest of Orlando. Mm -hmm. Um the update that I have is the Lennar Homes Toll Brothers in Commercial Development Developer uh, McCrary Property Company will be part of a newly established community um, development in, in the district of Apopka. And Apopka is spelled A-P-O-P-K-A because I know some people don't know how to spell it. Yeah, they so, leave, the, the, yeah. leave the second P out, so it's Apoka. Yes. Apoka! <laughs> yeah, so it's, called, it's pronounced Apopka. Apopka. Okay. And also, uh, home building Ashton Woods is targeting a fast-growing area in Apopka and, uh, for the next residential community, which is awesome because Ashton Woods is, is, a, is a great builder. Yep. And um, recently, they submitted major development plan application to the city's department for review, for the committee to review. And they proposed an 110-lot single home, single-family home subdivision, which is awesome, off of Plymouth uh, Sorrento Road. Nice. Between Lent Road and um, Happy Lane. Happy Lane. Okay. Uh, also, according to the submitted plans, Ashton Woods intend to build large estate-style homes, oh, which nice. is nice. Very wow, nice. Yeah. Nice. And they're saying that the, whole build, the home builder is seeking entitle, entitlements that will allow a minimum of 95 foot wide. Wow. So that's going to be... Awesome. Well, awesome. that's yeah. rare because a lot of builders are actually shrinking down in size. Like 40, 40 feet. Now. Yeah, and yeah. you start seeing these builders um, having smaller um, models to sell. Well, not models, but you know, the specs. So they'll give you, oh, this model, that model, but it's only like 50 feet at yes. most. Yeah. And even some communities down to 40 feet is the max yeah. you can get. They're trying to make it more urban feeling. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And they don't yeah. understand. Or we're trying to get away from the yeah. urban Yeah, yeah. A lot of our, our northern clients want the space. Yeah. They want the bigger footprint and lot size. So that is very interesting. That's going to be a really yeah. nice mm -hmm. thing. Um, so the homes could stand as tall as 35 feet in height. So wow. they're going to be t uh, very tall, tall as well. Yeah. Very tall as well. Man, 35 feet. That's like yeah. almost three stories. Yeah. And the amenities is <laughs> going to include a uh, pocket park. Nice. Dog park, two ponds, and a walking path, which is awesome. A lot of communities that have these amenities um, tend to have the uh, quaint family feel where right. you know your neighbors. Right. right. You know, when you walk mm -hmm. and you meet... Mr. Smith, Mr. Smith, uh, the family uh, down the street, next door, you know, which is awesome. Yeah, it's like the Laurier Park feel. Like, mm -hmm. you know, you get your neighbors, everybody comes out. We have events at the center of the whole community. And, yep. you know, you get that nice, homey, small town feel, but still have your house. Correct. Yeah, correct. And that is all that I have for now for a park area. All right. There's a lot going on. Yes, it is. <laughs> Pam? I'm going to talk about Osceola. Okay. Uh, just to give you an idea of how hot the market is in St. Cloud in Central Florida, one of the biggest land deals uh, ever to happen in Osceola just happened this December. The Parton family who owns the Green Island Ranch, and they've owned it for over 100 years, just sold in December for $150 million. Wow. It's one of the biggest deals yeah. um, in Osceola in a long time. Wow. Right. They're planning on doing 5,937 acres around the South Lake Toho area. Okay. Which yeah. is... Like 10th Street? I believe that's like around 10th Street? Like near, like the bottom of the of Lake The bottom, Toho. yeah, the bottom, yeah. but I think going to the west. Oh, it, it, I always get which, which Toho it is because there's like... Toho proper, and then there's East Lake Toho. Oh, okay. so yeah, no, it's not it's, East Lake. It's Toho it's, proper. It's proper. Okay, yeah. guys, so that's not, yeah. And it's going to be for a mixed land, uh, about 17,000 residential units. Oh, wow. wow. That's awesome. They could better wow. expand the roads down here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Make those roads wider. Hello. Yeah, yeah really. <laughs> Please. <laughs> <laughs> and also in Osceola County, a deal has been signed with a Korean developer for $1 billion to develop 
25 acres in Neo City to create a town center, which is going to have a shopping center, yeah. sh uh, shopping, re I can't talk, uh, <laughs> restaurants, hotels, and a performance arts center. Oh, that which is we cool. we don't have down here. Oh, that's no. nice. No, our, that's near nice. Yeah, our nearest one is um, in Dr. Phillips, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So that'd be nice. Maybe yeah. we could get... Finally, Hamilton down in Osceola. I think, I think no. this is going to be nice. Yeah. This would be nice, yeah. yeah. And Neo City is you're just going to blow up this whole area again. All right, guys. So I find that very interesting because in Kissimmee, you got Neo City, right? So that's a master plan community. And then you have, on the other side of that of 192, you have Sunbridge, Correct. right? And Sunbridge is going to not only be sandwiching that from 192, but it's going to run parallel with Narcusi Road all the way down to the 417 near Avalon Park almost. So yes. you have that two big master plan communities sandwiching St. Cloud, the Twin Cities, and Kissimmee. And then in Lake Nona, you have Laurier Park, of course. Mm -hmm. So you have three directions that have these master plan communities that have amenities, entertainment, and all the functions of, of these, you know, beautiful, big, communities that people just feed off of or in the surrounding communities so it's very interesting this is there's like this whole area is this starting is to expand yeah yeah, yeah yeah so what else Pam? that's all i have that's all she got <laughs> <laughs> you got any more i mean uh yes i could i yeah. could speak oh go for it yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, mm -hmm. all right more in apopka there's all like i said apopka, apopka is blowing up yeah. nearby also in apopka palty homes is planning 175 unit single family homes wow and the subdivision is gonna um have it's gonna be spread out over 50 acres wow, wow. and it's gonna be between the 429 which you know is a is a large highway right and plymouth sorrento road which is uh, uh the heart of the road for those communities right right there. the main junction correct and then it's gonna go west to 426 off of west of 426 madame homes is mm. planning to build 141. Yeah, where they've been hiding for a while. I know, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen Madame. So I mean, they, they have their communities, but this is like, they're uh, it's slower. good. They're, I like they're the, a slower, yeah. yeah, they're they a slower come, builder, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I live in a Madame, and yeah. I love their homes. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, they're going to be on 141 lots, single family community, and it's going to be called Gardenia Reserves. Okay. And mm. it's going to have 20.27 acres on the southwest corner of Sattler Road and Golden Gym Road, which is... Um, not too far from Altamont Springs. Okay. Oh, so, all right. All yeah, right. you can literally go to Altamont Springs with the with the restaurants and the, the movie and the theaters, mall over there, the movie Broadwalk. theaters yeah. within I think ten minutes. Nice. Not that far at all. That's awesome. Yeah, you have big big stores up there. Yes. The IMAX theater. All right. So that is it for this week. But I'm gonna leave you with an insight. So in the insight is who thinks the real estate market will crash in their city first? So many things to say. Some saw the crash of 08, but few listened. Number one, even when higher prices, more people have a bigger down payment. Whether it's from the sale of an existing home or their parents cashing out of their home because of the new equity position. Number two, job market is stronger. Even if your job isn't paying, younger buyers are buying with a friend to help buy equity and sell in the future. Number three, we have less inventory. Why? We have two generations entering the home buying process. Those that lived at home longer because of the recession and those that are at the age that we would normally be buying now. The recession group feels more comfortable entering the market now and seeing the generation after them entering. So it encourages them. Number four, rates are still low. Some people bought their first home at 8.5%. Rates are nowhere near that. Don't expect them to get anywhere near that anytime soon, even with the inflation that's on the way. Now, it will slow down, but it's not going to stop. Pe people still need to find a roof over their heads, and that's my two cents. Prices are up, and we're a few million homes short on the construction front as well. So that is our insight, and that is our market update. If you guys need our help, Please select us as your real estate resource of choice, and we'll see you guys on the next video. My name is Anthony Tejada, your local Orlando realtor, and Pam, Irene Calderon. And if you need to call us, we're at 407-790-0929, and we'll see you guys on the next video.